are back to No Nostalgia Filter, where we are playing uh, Metroid Fusion. Yes, and, and there's a breakable wall to your right that has a power-up in it. Yay, power-ups! How do I... what? I don't think you can... No, yeah, you can do it. Oh, well, you don't oh. have morph ball bombs yet. No, I don't. Oh, balls. Well, I guess we'll come back. Whatever. Alright, so this way is it. So, yes. Uh, last time... Uh, controversy of uh, Metroid wearing high, he uh, Samus wearing high heels. I, I called her Metroid. I am a bad, bad person. Yes, uh, you are. Uh, but uh, good enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can leave. You can go back to the nav room. Pause, and you can see where it is. Uh. See, see the end where you started. Yes. Go right back there. Okay. Okay. But anyway, the controversy over Samus wearing high heels. Um, I was a little torn on it because on one hand, I know no, you got to go up one more flight. Okay. More story. Yeah. So I know Samus, being who she is, mm -hmm. would be like, look, a power-up that makes me fight better. I will unquestionably use this. That's who she is. That's what she does. She wants to be strong. She is very strong, and she uses whatever she can to her advantage. I had no problem with that. Um, the thing that made me a little uncomfortable about it was that they were high-heeled boots. Um, you gotta go up and over. Uh, why... Oh, okay high heeled boots. And the biggest problem that I had was this Samus was very clearly and obviously based on other M Samus, who is a bastardized version of Samus to start. And I don't like her. Um, so you take a character that I really love, fuck her over, and then be like, yeah, let's put some hooker heels on her too. Um, which I'm not saying all women you who wear them are well, are that. That's right. what they're... I've known any woman to call them that. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't like it. I felt it was very ham-fisted, and it was really unnecessary, especially since that particular incarnation of uh, Zero Suit Samus is um, sexy pants, I guess. I don't I don't know of another way to describe it. it there isn't really. Yeah. The other controversy I didn't have a problem with at all, which was the one where she was wearing the crop top and the and the shorts. Oh, right. Yeah, go to your left. And go back to the narrative. Uh People were flipping the fuck out about that one. And I'm like, guys, one, that's a legacy costume. Mm -hmm. That's in Fusion at the end, and uh, at uh, Zero Mission at the end. So that's a legacy costume. And second of all, have you ever watched women's mixed martial arts? They're not going out there dressed in, you know, like, fucking pullovers yeah. and, and, and... Like I am today, and like a long yeah. sleeve shirt. No, they don't do that. You know. Comfortable and freedom of movement. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. It makes more sense than the Zero Suit. Far and away, in the context it's used, it makes more sense. The Zero Suit, um, a second layer of skin, basically a protection from the suit so you don't chafe against it, but it still gives you the most direct connection with the suit. Yeah. That makes perfect sense in that context. Take her out of the suit, it no longer makes sense for her to be wearing the long spandex. Right, exactly. Mm. She's not doing yoga, she's kicking ass. So <laughs> put her in something that's designed for ass kicking. Yeah, like even in, in gymnastics, like I mentioned, I had been in that before you wear very little mm -hmm. you wear you know the training bra and i mean not the training, the training. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make hair, them look pretty because you're apparently 10 yeah when you when when everybody does gymnastics. well if you've no. ever watched professional gymnastics you look like you're 10 <laughs> yeah uh. you do uh, but no you wear the sports bra and like shorts mm -hmm. you know so that you have ease of movement you don't necessarily need clothes hindering you mm -hmm. which it happens a lot when you have baggy yeah. clothes or... Oh, yeah. I can speed up text. Yeah. yeah. And this leads to, like, a whole other topic that I, I've gotten into arguments with people about. Good luck. Um, about who Samus is as a character. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, she's so strong. She's so tough. Why would she dress this way? It doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, just because Samus in one context is, like, a warrior and, like, very, like powerful and displays what are typically considered masculine qualities um, doesn't mean she's not feminine. Right. I mean, if you look at... If you look at her throughout the series, she changes her hairstyle frequently to different like ways that she likes, which is a, which is generally considered feminine. Uh, she wears makeup, she wears eyeliner, she wears clothes that are comfortable and also sporty. She displays a lot of traditionally, and she gets her nails done. She she displays a lot of traditionally feminine qualities, mm -hmm. and a lot of people seem to think that those uh, go to the right. The, they seem to think that those two things are at odds a lot, and I don't think that they are. You I, can be a total badass and fight and beat the shit out of people go the right uh you can beat the shit out of people but you can still like to look good yeah and there's like there's this big controversy too um not only with samus but like in the greater feminism community i guess whatever oh we're starting to trend to dangerous areas oh, we, should, we should not just but do it 
Yeah. It's too late now. We said the word. <laughs> That's true. But my, my point is, there's this whole thing where a girl can't be into frilly and lace and still be considered strong and, and you know, not just stereotypical 50s housewife only in the kitchen mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, there's there's a term for it that some people use. I don't like the term. Okay. Uh, it's, it's stone cold bitch, which basically oh, means yeah, yeah, she's like totally... Yeah, emotionless, like the angry. Ball. Yeah. Um, the term I like is an overly muscular dude with boobs. Yeah. Um, because that's basically what a lot of them devolve into. And I'm like, well, no, your characters can be a lot more nuanced than that. Oh, um, yeah. I like characters that are nuanced. I yeah. think, like we were talking about before, how much I love Samus. Part of why I love her so much is because of how nuanced she is and how much we know about her, despite her not ever saying much. Right. Uh, one game not with spent standing. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to mention that game. Hey, look, Metroid Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> not that other game. No, not that other one. This anyway. one's a good game. Yes. yes. Uh, explosion, blah, 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 <laughs> evil doppelganger. Start. Yeah, evil doppelganger. But the that essence. you have created through your previous actions, exterminating the Metroids, and now you are the Metroid symbolism. <sighs> of course I am. <laughs> yes, we're using all the jokes from the episode to diffuse the conversation we just had. Yeah, yeah, that, that's okay. Mm-hmm. If you see the SAX... Just run the Samus X? Uh, Samus Aaron X. Samus Aaron, okay. I kept calling her the Sax. Ha! <laughs> just run. Don't so think she about just show fighting. up and be like, No, you should only think about the Sax. Yeah. You know, she show up, me, 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 me. You love her, not a fighter. Anyway, you are still vulnerable to cold, an unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Because you yeah. had it when you. If you did see it, thing. just run. Huh. HQ says they have bomb data ready in the data room. For mm-hmm. some reason, I was having trouble reading there. Mm-hmm. Bombs will help you find a way out of the SAX trap. Mm-hmm. I should I should be reading this because this isn't Samus right now. Well, she doesn't talk much uh, for the first half. I mean, she talks a lot more later on. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level one hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level one locks. Every time somebody says release the, I always think release the Kraken. Yeah. Not release the whatever. You kind of end up doing that too. <laughs> At uh, one good, point? Good to know. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> of course it is. When, wh- why wouldn't it? You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So, first, find the security room and unlock level one. Hatches. Then go to the data room and get that bomb data. Blah, 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 blah. The mission is clear, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, basically what this guy is supposed to be, un- until much later in the game, this guy, his job, or this uh, machine, its job is done better by me. I can help you out a lot more than I can. Uh, later on in the game, okay. when more plot happens, uh, it will become much more important. Right now, it's shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, where do I go? Yeah, yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. And you don't need to recharge, you're at full right now, so just go through. Shoot the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't have to fight those things. They are very cowardly. Okay. Um, Left, right. You can go through that door. I think there's something in there for you. What is in here for you? Um, enemies. I think oh. there's a power up in here. Oh, that's the thing I can walk on. Yeah, okay. you can walk on. Oh, no, you can't go through here. You need dice beam. Never mind. Fuck it. Leave. Hey, look at that. You took a lot of damage for no fucking reason. Let's go back to that recharge room and use it. Yeah, let's do some sort of right here. And let's not touch the thing you say is really. Cowardly. It looks like an actual porcupine. Or not a porcupine, a hedgehog. You like a porcupine? A, no, a hedgehog. I was. I said porcupine. I, the way you said porcupine was what? what uh, yeah. Porcupine? Porcupine, yeah. I've never heard it said that way. It's always been porcupine. Porcupine. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, I, I just found the, the enunciations interesting. That's uh, all. Not bad, just interesting. Uh, don't go that way. That's where you're going to go later. Once you actually fucking have the door open, you go to the right. Uh, yeah, we're going to blow some shit up. Down or up? Uh, duck once, tap down once, and shoot. Okay, no, go up. If it doesn't break, go up. You don't have uh, power. You don't have uh, morph ball bombs yet. No, I do not. Um, you can kill that one. Uh, ah. All right. And grab its tasty, tasty X parasite. Yes. Yeah. Always angle jump when you can. It's better. Uh, uh, how do I angle jump? Um, hold to the right and jump. There you go. Oh, I see. Now kill that fucker. Actually, you don't have to do that either. Whatever, you did it. It's too late. Oh, You're a murderer like... now. Oh, I'm a uh, monster. Yeah, just jump up and grab that shit, too. 
Uh, yeah, see the ledges? Look for the ledges. Uh, each area has specific colored ledges. So look for the ledges of the that are the same color as the wall. You can go to the right. Just jump up. There you go, see? Ha! Huh. Samus is very versatile. Yes. Yay! Yay! Uh, more of you porcupine things. Yeah. Hedgehogs. Those... Porca hogs. Porca hogs, there we go. Hedgepines. Uh, tap down once and there. Remember, if you can't, if you're shooting over the enemy, just duck and you'll, and you'll be able to hit Ooh, it. Oh, green one. Do, 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 do. Killing fun. shit all day. I love this area. This is my favorite area because it's so pretty. It's all yeah, like, it natural, looks, leafy, growing, beautiful. It looks like the Amazon or something. Uh, it's supposed like, to be like a, some kind of tropical planet. I was gonna say something like some ruins in a in an old woods or something, or like a rainforest. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, that just kind of got overgrown. Yeah. Um, I always like how in fiction you always have worlds that have a theme. Like, yeah. This is this is a uh, this is a. Uh, uh, Security room. Yeah, th well, this is a security room. But anyway, right. this is a tropical world. This is an ice world. This is a fire world. Step on that pad. So yeah, now you open those blue doors. Um, whereas our planet, like, you know, hundreds of thousands of different kinds of ecosystems all over the place, why do outer space planets only get one? Yeah, I don't... I, I wish I knew. It's, it's, I think it's because fictional writers are lazy. It and they're be. like, this is just the ice planet, instead of this is the one section of the planet that has ice on it. Um, for a writer's convenience, this is just the ice planet. As a writer myself, it's... it's Yeah, that can be a little bit lazy. Mm -hmm. Although, to me, I find world creation to be very, very fun. Um, especially, like, if I can take my own planet and design it in its entirety. Mm -hmm. You should talk to Guillermo del Toro. He's the world-building master. Oh, I would love that. Oh, have you have you seen Pacific Rim? I have not. I've... Oh, I will show you Pacific Rim. Yeah. Like, the first 15 minutes are world-building tastic. Go to your left. Um, Angelo actually found out that I haven't seen Pac Rim, and he's like, okay, we need to have a movie night. Um, because there were a couple other people who had it was seen me. Pac Rim either. I remember. I was in that room. And, uh, no, Kay hadn't seen it. That's uh, right. But we showed it to Kay. Oh? Uh, yeah, she came over to hang out with Koshi uh, that night uh, that uh, Angela was sick. Oh, okay. Uh, shoot, uh, duck down and shoot that wall and... and just ignore him. Oh, okay, you killed him. Okay, never mind. You're going to go a long way around. Go to the right and jump. Go to the right all the way. Jump up. Climb. Oh, I see. So yeah, look for things to climb. Because there's going to be a lot of things to climb. Are you sure I can? Okay, there we yeah. go. Like I said, angular jumps are better. Okay. There you go, you got it. Yay! So yeah, we have to show you Pacific Rim. Like, world-building-tastic that game, that game, that movie is. I, I watched it for the first time, and I sat down, and I'm like, oh, this is a movie that sounds cool. Robots fighting giant monsters. And then it starts playing, and after 15 minutes, I'm like, I'm so ready for this movie. I'm so ready for this movie! Did I get my Morph Balls? Uh... Morph Bombs, I mean? Tap down twice. Tap B. Yep! And you get the morph ball bomb jump, which will be made obsolete once you get the spring ball. But anyway, go to the right. Also, I need help. Uh, no, you're right. I have one more re up, and I and, and I need help. Yeah, kill that guy. Oh, here. That. Just leave him alone. Leave. <laughs> How do? Yeah, see, he gives you very little health back. Okay. So go down. Ah. Go, uh, if you notice, that door is now broken. I do notice. Because guess who's been around? You're going to test out your new bombs. Um, there you go. Boom. They tricked you. They made you think you were going to go to the left. Uh-uh, you're going to the right. Uh, unroll. Go through that door now. <laughs> I did. <laughs> save. Yes. Let's not die. Let's save. Uh, next time on No Nostalgia Filter, uh, something else. We're going to... We'll, we'll talk about something. Yeah. Um... Probably not things that are going to make an angry comment section, I hope. Hopefully not. No nostalgia filter is full of feminists! <laughs> Destroy them! <laughs> oh my god. Your skill is her voice kills me. I love it.